Hi, this is Jamie Davis from telecoms.com, coming to you from Mobile Congress in Barcelona. So I'm here with Pierre Zimmer, Correct. the Deputy CEO and CIO of Post Luxembourg. How are you today? Yeah, very fine. It's, it's busy, but fine. And I hear you're lucky enough that this is your first ever Mobile World Congress. It's my first one because we had a big project going on and the rule was I'm not coming to this Congress until <laughs> the project is a success. Okay, okay. Well, I mean, this is a good sign. Yes. So, obviously this new project, I'm imagining it's, uh, well, we're going to get to it in a second. But first and foremost, we're, we're seeing a lot of competition in Europe at the moment. And, you know, the telcos have to do a lot of, a lot of changing to make sure they're actually relevant to the digital economy today. I mean, what are, the telco, what, what are the changes that you're seeing internally and how are you trying to adapt to this new connected era? Yes, I think everybody is doing the easiest part, which is reducing costs. Yes, yes. That means going more and more to integration platforms. But on the other hand, I think telecom must be honest and admit that they were quite lazy when the margins were quite big. <laughs> uh, during the communication area and now for the 5G things are going to change they are aware that they cannot just rely on connectivity so they have to come up with other services and also take the services with the big margins again in their portfolio and not let that to the other players on the market okay okay and so you're currently going through your digital transformation process what's the plan for when you finish? What's post-digital transformation? I think the key term is uh, real-time. So you, you really have to be a customer journey which is real-time and where you can get what he wants at the time he really wants it. And in order to do that, you really have to work a lot on your processes, on your capabilities you have technologically. That's quite a big challenge. And another one which is clearly a little bit uh, an innovation part of POST is um, the security part on the mobile networks. Yep. That's an area which is quite new and for the 5G a lot of challenges are coming up and so we are really going to launch products in that area. Okay, okay. And the project you mentioned earlier, Mobius, so that is, I mean is it fair to say that is the, the, the sort of the, the, the starting point, the beginning of your digital transformation? Uh, it's really one of the major steps we took. So we had already an ongoing transformation, but with the Mobius project, we clearly transformed completely uh, our whole telecom processes. We reshaped how we work, how we go to the customer. And uh, I think that was quite disruptive for us, a big <laughs> challenge. And that's why I had that principle until we have a success there. I'm not coming to Barcelona. <laughs> I don't merit to come to Barcelona. So the fact you're here means yeah. it must have gone quite well. Yeah, and it's not us who tell this, it's our customers who are happy with it. So and the customer is the best measure you can get, in fact, yes. Of course, of course. And obviously part of this project, sort of Whale Cloud, they were a big partner of yours. So, I mean, how are Whale Clouds helping you develop these services that will take you into the realms of being a, a digital service provider. Yeah, but you have the term cloud in it. So. And um, <laughs> as we made the major step, we immediately went to new technology. And so already our corporate IT was cloud oriented. And with the technology we got from Whale Cloud, we will do something what in the finance sector you call an open banking platform. Okay. I think yes. with Whale Cloud you really can do something very new which is called an open telecom platform. Yep. And where you can put other services on it, seamlessly for the customer, if it's on the cloud or on your premises. And that's really something which is available with the technology we got there. Okay. And this is some, touching on something you mentioned earlier. Um, you know, telcos can't just focus on connectivity anymore. You know, the, uh, the expectations not only from the shareholders, but from customers. Yes. Um, so, looking into the future with AI and IoT, major themes at this year's show. What are you guys doing to take advantage of this buzz and incorporate these technologies into your offering? I like the term buzz, so um, <laughs> it's up to us to make reality out of it. Yes, and yes. Um, in fact, for IoT and uh, AI, 
We already launched some new things the last two years. Yeah. Uh, in cybersecurity for fraud detection with machine learning, etc. And what we see is that if customer trust you and you are transparent how you work with their data, you can really with AI give them really what they wait for. And um, so for us, the customer uptake with AI is far higher okay. and teams are really motivated because they get positive feedback from the customer. Okay. So clearly we already did it and we certainly are going to improve a lot in that area in the near future, yes. Perfect, well, thanks for taking a couple okay. of minutes. Thank and I'll let you much. get back to the joys of Barcelona yeah. and yeah. Mobile World Congress. Yeah, and all <laughs> that's going on here. Yeah. Thank you, Pierre. Thank you.